Sometimes we're asked to do things that are intimidating. In the book of Exodus, God appears to Moses and gives him a very intimidating task. So now go, I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. In one sentence, Moses' life is completely turned upside down. Instead of leading sheep, he'll lead the Israelites. Instead of living in exile from his people, he'll live among them. Wow, that sounds like shocking news to hear. But this news definitely shocked Moses. In fact, the next few verses, Moses comes up with excuses and tries to get out of God's calling. But God's calling is not optional. The Lord commands Moses to leave everything he knows to follow God's mission for his life. When Moses expresses his doubts, God says to Moses, Eya Esher Eya, a Hebrew phrase which translates to, I am who I am. I am who I am? What? This can also translate to, I am what I am, or I will be what I will be. This statement is not just a name or word for God. It's a poetic expression of God's nature. He is self-existent, eternal, unique, and uncreated. God just is. This is how Moses and Hebrew speakers would have understood this phrasing. This is also significant because in John 8, Jesus refers to himself as Eya, I am meaning that he is God. So Moses is called to lead the Israelites, but did the Israelites know about this plan? Not only was he called to lead them out of Egypt, but Moses was also commanded to tell the Israelites that this same God was responsible for his mission. This was a massive task, far greater than anyone could accomplish alone. This calling required God's call, power, and provision to accomplish. Moses had doubts, but it was God with him that set the Israelites free. So what does this mean for me today? This required Moses to place his trust in the Lord to provide and guide him to accomplish this God-given task. Trusting in God and giving it all to him is one way that we can steward our lives. As we continue to place our trust in God, a great place to start can be the steward's prayer. Lord, what do you want me to do today with all you have trusted me with to honor you and to advance your kingdom? God bless you as you trust in him today.